Hello guys, Bullet here. Today I want to take some time and talk about something big happening with Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's known that in the last month CSGO player numbers have been slowly but steadily dropping, but this month we have reached the lowest dip the game has ever experienced in years. Don't get me wrong, 130,000 players online? Well, hell, the game is far from dead. But if we look back, we have never seen anything like it since February 2014, almost three years ago, and this is quite bad news. I myself have clocked 1,500 hours into the game and I'm actually ranked LEM, so I've dedicated a fair share of my time to this game in the last years, making this pretty disappointing to see happening. The main reason for this drop is in my opinion the poor management Valve has reserved for this game, considering they have been making millions out of it for the last two years. We're talking of problems like cheaters, OP pistols, running gun, unnecessary nerfs like the one on the op, bugs that have not been fixed in years and the lack of a communication channel with developers. I mean, look at what Blizzard is doing with Overwatch. Every month we have the game director, Jeff Kaplan, come at us and say, hey, we have received your feedback, we have modified these aspects of the game and now we're gonna test them in the PTR, explaining in detail why they're doing what they're doing. Valve will just come at us once in a while to completely destroy the game balance and disappear for months at end. I mean, really Valve? Really? The second reason for the player drop is a skin scandal. Since Valve has decided to persecute websites that promote a skin gambling, the value for skins on the market has slowly been dropping, driving those who have invested on skins away from the game. This might not seem like a big change, but people often forget that most of this game's success came along with the introduction of skins, so their decrease in value is having pretty devastating effects. Last but not least, we have to take in consideration competition for CSGO. We're talking about all those titles that are feeding on Counter-Strike's player base, especially Overwatch, which has reached more than 10 million players and keeps growing. Do you think that CS is eventually going to die out? Absolutely not! Counter-Strike has survived for many years because it's just one of its kind and veterans are hardly gonna leave the game anytime soon, even if it's all its flaws. On the other hand, in a certain way I'm happy to see the end of this complete dominance that CSGO had on the first-person shooter genre, because it will give more space for other games to expand and evolve. So that was it for this video guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think about Counter-Strike and the actual state of the game. If you liked the video please rate, leave a comment or subscribe and until next time, see you on the battlefield.